Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, we're going to talk about how to customize your invoices in QuickBooks Online. What I have is my sample QuickBooks Online file. To customize the invoices, we can go about it in a couple of different ways. It's kind of like driving to the grocery store. There's multiple routes to get there. I'm just going to start by clicking on the gear in the upper right hand corner. I'm then going to go into the column for your company and go down to custom form styles. I'm going to make a whole new invoice. I'm not going to edit the existing one. I'm going to click a new style in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm going to select invoice from the drop down list. I'm going to give my invoice an, or my invoice template a name. So template created October 16th. And then I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. So for the template type, I can see the sample on the right hand side of what this could look like. So here's airy new and then classic. There's modern. Uh, there's fresh. There's bold friendly. So we're going to use fresh for our example. We can make logo edits by clicking on make logo edits. So right now this is my logo. If you didn't have a logo, you could click on the plus sign and upload your logo. So um, I've got a thinking frog. We'll upload that. Whatever your actual logo is. And then you can choose the size. So small, medium, or large or you can opt to hide it all together. I kind of like it, so I think we'll leave it. And then the placement. Currently it's in the upper left hand corner. I can move it to the middle or I can move it to the left. I kind of like it on the left, so I'm gonna leave it there. So it says splash on some colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. This is my chance to change the colors. So the colors right now really work, but I will pretend like they don't and that I want something different. So when I click on change the colors, you can kind of see it's changing these um, like boldish colors. So let's pick something fun. So I've decided to pick this green as my color. If you're very particular and you have colors that you like, you can always use the code right here to pick the color you want. Um, if you're not sure, um, they're hex codes. So you can always come in um, that you just Google someplace to get you the hex codes. But basically, if you find the color you like, this pound is going to be the hex code. So we'll pick this color. And then all I'm doing is just going to choose copy, come over here. And then it creates the colors, you know, just like I have here, over here. So you don't have to pick one of these sample colors if you're particular. So then I can choose my font. Um, so just kind of play around with it and see which one makes sense for you and your business. Do Times New Roman and then we'll make it slightly bigger because I want something I can read. And then I can choose my margins. I never monkey with the margins. I think that they're fine how they are. Um, if you need the margins to be particular, this is a good chance to change them. So then the content. When I click on content in the upper left hand corner, uh, my invoice is segmented into three boxes that I can edit. When I click on the pencil in the upper right hand corner, it allows me to change stuff. So say for example, I don't like this name or I think the name is too long. Um, like in my case, I think it's too long. So sample file for, um, we'll say for videos. Now I have my business name just stretched out uh, without going into a second line. So this is all a matter of preference. Um, right now when I look at my address, it says US at the bottom. I think that that's implied based on the clients that I work with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the hyperlink for address. And then I'm going to say hide country. If I was the type of person who didn't want to display my street address, I can always uncheck it and take it away. So I've got it on there. I can click on website and I can say go ahead and show my website. And then form name. Right up here in the upper right hand corner, it says invoice. And so that makes sense to me, but maybe I want it to say um, custom invoice. Y whatever makes sense to you. And then form numbers, that's my invoice number. Use custom transaction numbers. M maybe I want to manually type in the invoice number. 
So an example of where this makes sense is if you're the type of person that has um, handwritten tickets and those tickets on the bottom have a number, you might want to manually override whatever QuickBooks has as the invoice number and make the number match the handwritten ticket number. Um, I know it sounds a little goofy, but it, I have a, um, a shop that does that. And so whatever makes sense for your business. So then display, what do I want to display for my client? Um, I've got their name, their address, um, shipping. I'm not really shipping anything, so I'm not displaying that. But if you're the type of person who ships something, maybe you want to display it. The terms. So I'm saying, okay, what are your terms? In this example, it's not 30. And then the due date. I want it to be really easy for my client to see when they need to pay their bill. So I'm going to leave that on there. If those don't apply, um, then you can go ahead and uncheck them and take them off. There are things that you can add. So you can come down here to custom fields. And when you click on that, it gives you a spot to add custom fields. You can see in a previous example, I was doing something for an auto uh, repair shop where they had stock number, VIN number, and vehicle info. And so that's the custom fields here. We can replace them and we can just say custom field one, awesome field two, info field three. And then it's changed them. So the bold number is the number I've just typed, but then the content underneath it is the, the content that you will type yourself when you create the invoice. So I've got this the way I like it. Then I can come over to emails and I can just say, do I want my PDF, my invoice that I send my client, do I want it attached to my email as a PDF? Or do I want it just summarized in the body of my email? So then you've got your reminder email and your reminder email, you can just modify this to say anything you want it to say. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and click on done. And so now I've got my template created October in my standard invoice. I'm going to take you to a blank invoice to show you what it looks like in practice or in the real world. I'm going to click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, also known as the quick create menu. Under the column for customers, I'm going to choose invoice. So I'm going to create a customer named sample customer. And I'm going to sell them. Um, a bathtub, a sell them bathtub for $100. These are my custom fields. So remember, it's called custom field, awesome field, field info. You should rename the fields to be anything you want them to be. And if fields don't make sense for you, if you don't need this extra information, go ahead and take them off and don't include them on your invoice. So info in box one, box two, box three, I've got invoice number 1012, but maybe I want it to be ABC123. And then down here where it says customize, I can change it from the standard invoice to the invoice I've just created. And then I can click on print or preview. And then again, choose print or preview. And I can see how the invoice is going to look before I send it off to my client. So it's got the green that I picked. It's got the invoice that I created, um, invoice ABC123. It's got the content that I put for my custom fields. It's got the description of what I've sold. As I look at this and I look at the preview, if I say, you know what, it's not, the invoice isn't quite what I want it to look like. I want to change the invoice. You can change it here. You will come down to customize. You've got the invoice you want. You can say edit current. And that'll bring you back to here where you can make changes. So I'm going to choose content. I'm going to click on the pencil and I'm going to say, for example, that I don't want to list my item name. All I want is my description. I don't want to list my quantity. I just want the total. So I'm going to say, take off product and service, take off the quantity and the rate, and then just have the total. So I'm going to click done. So now I can see that I've sold a bathtub and that it's cost of $100. And I don't see the short description that I have set up in my QuickBooks. I don't see the rate and I don't see the quantity. I just see the grand total, providing an invoice for my client that's real simple and easy to read, but still providing me the detail that I want on the back end. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Go ahead and post a comment, send me an email, give me a phone call, schedule an appointment. I'm completely here for you if you have questions. Mm -hmm.